Hey guys, Exile the Bronze back into the Silk Cradle. Trying to beat the fourth boss in the game here. This is my third run here if I beat it. Or third whatever, third completion, I guess. Uh we beat the other three zones, so moving on to this one. I hate these guys. They are very, very strong. And I probably shouldn't have taken that hit there, but uh, I thought I could kill him in time. Just making sure to not get hit by any of those guys. Uh, I am using the Golden Fleece, so I get 10% damage whenever I kill an enemy. I take double damage, and then that damage bonus falls off when I get hit. That should have hit me. It's a great area to have the immunity to poison. Uh, enchant, or... No, uh, card card. Really hate the uh, archer, so I do not uh, hold on to my fervor for those any capacity. I will always use Ferber to clear the rooms with the little archers. They're very annoying. I think I'd rather take the deal poison and then eventually. Because it guarantees that I put poison on it and on enemies instead of it being a chance. I can pick up a new weapon later that doesn't use poison. I think I'm immune to poison. It's probably worth more to be immune to poison than have the extra hearts. I'd argue that I'll probably only take two hearts worth of damage to poison, but uh, there's a lot of it um, in this area. And I forget I don't have a ranged ability. Barely killed him in time. I probably shouldn't have risked that. We go down here. Trying to get my bearings for what was going on after I used my ability. Uh, kind of a hard game in my opinion. Does have a chance to drop fish? Getting a lot of utility. It's... I want at least two combats. Looks like, yeah, so we can get an extra combat either way we go. No one need followers for the end. Go this way, grab a follower. A bit of stone, of course. A nice, uh, uh, free follower, one I don't have to fight for. Kinda sucks I don't have to fight for it, I won't get as much damage, but... Also, it's kind of nice not having to fight for it and risk taking damage. Go straight up here. The chest drop food, not gold, which is great for me because I have a lot of gold.
enemies are not very difficult in my opinion in this area. There's uh the larger cultist guys, those are pretty difficult. But overall I would say that the scorpions would be the hardest enemy here if I was gonna pick one that's uh completely unique to the area. Now these guys are difficult. Make sure to roll when they come back in. Then he does that attack afterward. Would have loved to not have a dagger as an option. I will take this freezing. Well, so it's also great for blocking projectiles. I'll probably end up showing you that at one point. I'm going to spike up. This game is a lot of fun. Definitely recommend picking it up. Slowing him down is really useful. I think the free spells are some of the most powerful ones in game just because and nearly infinite into slowing. Make sure to grab my target card here. Very unlikely I get hit down to half a heart because I take double damage, meaning I take a full heart every hit. Got to destroy the fire. You destroy the fire to give you meat with an exception of the follower event where you can buy a follower that one will give you minced follower meat i think is what it's called that's just because that dude well eats followers so what would he have on this fire follower meat again wish i could get rid of this dagger Hopefully our final weapon choice that we're guaranteed at least gives us a weapon other than the dagger. Not very good in my opinion with the damage bonus. Because it's percent damage you'll get a lot more off of having a weapon with high damage and this is the lowest damage weapon. Another thing, in case you guys don't know, you attack faster when you don't move. It might be hard to tell, but I actually let off the movement keys when I attack. Happy that guy was close, allowed me to take him out. I am going to wait for these to spawn. That way I can... That way I can get more enemies to stack up more damage. Axe is perfect. Don't really need the poison. We'll take the zealous axe. Wasn't sure which way that guy was going to be attacking because I rolled a little soon there. Yeah, if you notice, I'm starting to one-shot enemies. My weapon damage is 16, not super, super high. I've uh, seen higher. But 600% damage is crazy. Uh, and overall weapon damage buff. So, yeah, it just brings us up to 17. So it looks like it applies after the damage bonus from... No. I don't know how that works. 
drop black acre on hit. I don't know if that means when I get hit. Yeah, it says who dares draw the blood of the god of gods, so I imagine that means when I get hit, and ideally I do not get hit. Rolled the last second there, wasn't sure if I was going to be able to hit him. 620% damage. Should make this fight pretty easily unless I get hit, like, immediately. I've never fought this guy before, so he's a little difficult. I do notice that when his tail moves is when he's doing the projectile attacks. And then his claws will move when he's doing a melee attack. There we go, we got him. Nice and easy boss fight there. Looks like I got hit at the start, would have been a lot faster. I'll go with probably more seeds. Seeds are expensive. Anyways guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one where we might even end up taking down the fourth and final boss as far as zone bosses go. See you guys in the next one.